My grandfather Tan Lee fought for his life in the Vietnam War. He tells of how he has survived multiple attacks and what he thought of his experiences. I will be translating for him what he says. In the Vietnam War, my ranking was captain of the South Vietnamese Army. When I was 18 years old, I joined the military. I studied for two years in college to learn all of the military tactics and then I went onto the battlefield. I had two good friends with me, and they both died in battle before they got their first paycheck. I was in a training center most of the time. They would train the soldiers while they fight against Viet Cong at the same time. I survived three major attacks. The first attack was at the training center. A bomb got dropped on us. I ran out to go help the soldiers, but one of the shrapnel from the bomb skimmed the top of my hard helmet, but it almost hit me. I was lucky I wore the helmet a little bit lower and I would have been dead. The second attack, I was in a restaurant with 13 other soldiers there. The Viet Cong ambushed us and shot us all. I got pierced in the leg and I crawled out and hid behind the building. I could see that they went in and shot all the bodies again to make sure they were dead. I was the only survivor. The third attack, I was in an army jeep with the driver and the commander in chief. We stopped the car at a village to talk to a woman in front of her home. My job was to make sure all of the soldiers were lined up defending the commander, but the Viet Cong made underground trenches to ambush the commander-in-chief. Two men jumped out of the ground and shot the driver and the commander. I was a little bit away from the shots. I was behind the house. I ran over and quickly put them in the car and quickly drove off before they could get me. The commander had his shoulder torn off by bullets and five bullets were in his stomach. I, could, I took him from the hospital and tried to fly him back to Saigon, but he died on the way there. Back when I first joined the military, my first intention was to protect my country. But when Vietnam got divided into the north and south, it made me sad and feel torn because Vietnam Vietnamese people were fighting against each other. The ones that I considered my friends and family and then moved to the north side became my enemies. And I had to fight my own kind and my own blood. It was a meaningless civil war.